Got it here, five more new Microtech knives. Check this out. This is the older box, but it's just made for the bigger knives. It's still new. So yeah, let's see what I got. I actually live not too far from the factory where they make them. So start with first one, Microtech UTR-70, red partial serrated. These things are so much fun. So I think in California, if you're wondering if it's legal or not, this thing needs to be under two inches. But again, make sure you check all of the different like um, counties laws before you get one of this wiggle room. Do you hear it? But that's just nature of the knives on this like OTF knives. What is this window breaker? I'd have to hold it way down this way. But yeah, the safety is just built into it. Beautiful red color with the black um, kind of like silver blade. And there's a markings on it. Very cool. Kind of sharpened on one side as you can see. I really love Microtech knives. Okay, next we got it here. UTX 70TE Signature Serial Carbon Fiber Top Bronze apocalyptic so much information to read to real quick that stuff is nice so yeah it is really lightweight carbon fiber look at that pot on that's nice okay what about on this side yeah the signature hard to make out 10 2021 so only a couple months old yeah there you go Really hard to make out what it says on it because of uh, uh, colors and things like that. But yeah, it's pretty much same thing. Beautiful. Um, yeah, still lots of vigalum over here, but it's like a little box cutter over here. Super lightweight, beautiful. I love the little screws. Don't you guys like that? The blade is more to the side, not in the middle. It's just nature of this knife. There's different kinds, different OTFs. My favorite ones are right in the middle. But yeah, definitely um, not perfect balance. You see, I would have to hold it this way to have a balance. I like a balance to be where I would be holding it. So not perfectly balanced knife here. They're just, again, nature of a knife. You have spring and a lot of weight on the back of it. And it is a super light weight knife so you don't really feel it like it's much anyways but yeah that's what the balance in case you're wondering next come on camera ultratect de odd green full serrated so they constantly remake and bring back the same models maybe with different colors and different like touch to it this one is much bigger maybe we'll do side by side there you go. If you're in California, you might have to get one of this. That's your only option. But yeah, check your own lows. Um, beautiful. Wow, this one is very new. 12, 2021. Uh, so yeah, only like a week old. That's it. Maybe a month old. And the serial number, beautiful knife. Check this out. Quite hefty. Wow, I really like that. And again, you see? Lots of wiggle room. But that's just nature of these um, OTF knives. There is one OTF knife that has no wiggle room, but those are really hard to get and they're much more expensive. And again, you see how there is this easy pull, then you have a lot more um, resistant. But I really like that. There is people who love serrated knives, there is people who only love regular straight edge knife. But now you can get both. That's pretty awesome. I love the color. I love that green color. Next, again, this is mostly unboxing of this new, like not really models, but new variation of this stuff. Exotech DEST white, white serrated. I guess that's blade and that's a handle right here. Let's see. Ooh, I think this is a storm. 
two parts. This is actually a money clip. I just figured it out recently. You put cash over here. This is why it's so big. It's not really a clip into your pocket. You could use it, but it has actually made for money. And I guess this is a Star Wars button number Stormtrooper. You see it? That's beautiful. 12 2021. So another brand new, only a week older. So, oh wow, that white is quite shiny and reflective. You see that? That's nice. Oh wow, yeah. White blade too. This thing flies out so well. Not a lot, I'm just saying, you know, for the knife, you don't want to have any wiggle room. And again, the balance on this knife way in the back right here. But again, this is just OTF knife for you. Beautiful. I really like that. Look at that. Shiny. So you, you guys like Star Wars? You can have a full collection of Star Wars and Jurassic Park and such different things. They make different themes on this kind of knives and different blade as well. I have quite a few of these ones now. Okay, and the last one at the end, I love this vintage boxes. I mean, I like the new boxes, but there you go. Caution, sharp edge. Well, thank you for letting me know in case people got this box and doesn't know it's a knife. Oh yeah, that thing is cool. So I actually showed you guys this thing before and yeah, a little cool clip. Oh wow, that's tight. There you go, you see just like vintage, good looking clip, but they made, oh wow, it gets tight. Looks like you cannot jump straight up and down, but yeah, whoa, it's like one of those tuna picks, you know, you actually go to a tuna and take out the meat to see if you watch the tuna videos, oh wow, it's scraping it up in that case. But yeah, if you see the tuna shows, they constantly like stick to and take out a piece to see if the meat valuable, how valuable the meat. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I guess a little, I don't even know, what is it called? I forgot to look. Tuck P, signature series, tin standard, uh, tin hardware. So I guess my biggest complaint would be about this thing. If it's signature series, it's like really nice and collectible. Um, it's actually rubbing off the color. If you're constantly going to be putting it in and out, you see? It's rubbing it off. Or maybe it just uh, gets uh, rubbed off onto the case, kind of both situations. But yeah. Now you know what to expect whenever you get one of these. That's why we do the unboxing, but that's pretty beautiful. Look at this little holes. The only sharp edge right here. And there is uh, everything about it. 11, 2021. So it's been a month. Oh look, this comes off. Oh, in case you have to clear it out. That is funny. And a little bit of imperfections over here, but that's cool. And I guess this is like a window break or some. So yeah, these things are definitely unique. Tuck pen. There you go, it goes in this way a little bit better. So you want to push it down this way. Anyways, let me know in comments below what do you think about this uh, new Microtech knives. I think this is my favorite, the green one. Beautiful, shiny, almost glowing. All the way around. I like that one a lot. 